The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party arrives the venue of the inauguration of the party's presidential campaign council. The 600-member campaign council comprises serving and former governors, but not all members of the team are present at this ceremony as the internal crisis within the party led to the withdrawal of some members, including Governor Yusum Wiki of River State and Governor Shei Makide of Oyo State. Beyond the wranglings, the party is optimistic that it will emerge victorious in 2023 as it sets a plan to resolve the crisis. The campaign should be based on the achievements so far recorded by our successive governments while we are making every effort to unify all aggrieved individuals or groups arising from recent primaries. All of us are going to hit the ground running and we shall work collectively as a family and expeditiously to ensure the victory of our party. The PDP is hinging its campaign messages on the track record of its presidential candidate, hoping that this will resonate with the electorate. We must boldly and courageously go to Nigerians and engage them and ensure that this campaign is taken very seriously from the unit level through to our wards, our constituencies, our local governments, and across our states. You win election from your unit to your ward, to your constituency, not by sitting in Abuja. The present campaign council will take the message back to the unit. The party's presidential candidate reiterates the task ahead of the campaign council. Our system of government is broken. Our current system is unfair and wielding towards favoring the federal government at the expense of the other federated units and has in itself become a willing tool for underdevelopment and corruption. Our task today is to come together to rescue and rebuild our beloved country, Nigeria. That is the end goal. The high point of the event is the unveiling of three books, which are memoirs of the former Vice President, Mr. Atiku Abubakar. 